Alright, hello guys. In this video, we're going to be talking about a big storm system that's going to be affecting the central United States, the Great Lakes region, and even the northeastern regions of the United States coming up. We'll be talking about the model runs and what they're showing for this according to the GFS and the European model. But before we get started with this video, though, I would ask that you do subscribe if you do like weather-related content. And also make sure to check out the links in the description as that'll take you to my social medias. Now, as of right now, we are looking at the European model first off. And you can see this is for Monday, early, early Monday. Uh, is 54 hours out and you can see that heavy precipitation there for Nebraska and Kansas that's going to be our main area of concern as this develops notice there's very very dark green colors and they're the darkest shade that they have here on this model uh, so it is very heavy precipitation going on with this system and that's what we're going to be watching head over into the, the more eastern United States as we move on one here you can see Chicago being affected a lot Michigan Wisconsin northern indiana all of these areas having very heavy precipitation by this point and don't worry we will have a total precipitation map at the end of each of these model runs to show you guys how much rain is expected according to these models and i'll give you a better idea of what to expect for your areas if you are affected by this system uh we're going to go ahead and move on one more and you can see by this point this one heads out into pennsylvania new jersey new york city long island and these areas are going to be, again, getting the heaviest of the precipitation as they are in that darkest shade of green. And we're going to go ahead and move on one more. And you can see that you can hardly see, but there's two areas of dark green by this point. And a lot of Cape Cod and those areas in southern Massachusetts are being affected by this very heavy precipitation by this point. So that's interesting to mention. If you do live in that area of southeastern Massachusetts, a beautiful area, by the way. Uh, you will be receiving very heavy precipitation with this storm and probably a lot of precipitation over the course of its entire life. So we're going to go ahead and move on to the GFS model. Or actually, sorry, we're going to look at our total precipitation at this point. You can see in our green shades, we have 0.1 to 0.5 inches of precipitation. Not a lot of green shades going on for the area of concern. It, it jumps up in, in the rate very, very fast. In the blue area, 0.5 to 1 inches of rain. Again, very thin layer of that. And then in your orange, yellow to orange shades, you have 1 to 2 inches of rain. And then in your reds, it's 2 to 5 inches of rain. I don't see any browns, but if there was, that would be 5 inches plus of rain. So that would be interesting to mention. But you can see the heaviest areas... Of precipitation at this point is southern Nebraska, Iowa into southern South Dakota, into southern Wisconsin, into southern Michigan, into areas of northern Ohio and northern Pennsylvania, and then areas of Cape Cod there and again that southeastern region of Massachusetts is expecting two to four inches of rain, maybe even a little bit more, maybe closer to five in a lot of those regions. But nevertheless, if you're in the blue, yellow, or red shade, you're expecting a lot of precipitation. And you should be on the lookout because this could really, you know, this is a really low resolution uh, map of what's going to be happening. And things could happen outside of these red areas that would cause a lot more precipitation, like thunderstorms. You never can really predict those this far out as far as like where flash flooding will occur. So it's very, very important that you're keeping track of what's happening in your area like now, you know, like what's happening in the moment as opposed to far out. It's always good to be prepared far out like this, but it's always good to keep yourself in the moment as far as weather is concerned, always, just in case something's happening that was not expected. All right, so we're going to go ahead and move on to the GFS model. And you can see, again, starting out things with precipitation there for Colorado, Kansas, Nebraska. With the heavier precipitation, again, the scale goes a little bit higher on this one, but you can see we're in the yellows to oranges, almost reds there. We're going to move on one, and you can see by Tuesday, or this is kind of late Monday actually, but 66 hours out, you can see Iowa into Wisconsin is getting very heavy precipitation. Something I noticed with the GFS model as I was looking at this before, I made this video, is that the GFS model keeps this a little bit further north. You can see Chicago doesn't get, you know, slapped as bad on this one as the European has a direct hit. Uh, we keep the heavier precipitation further north on this one into Wisconsin. We have a 998 millibar low pressure system there. So this is a pretty strong storm system, actually. 
And I could I could see this happening, you know, during the winter. It's really weird this time of year to have this system, especially once it gets to the East Coast. It looks just like a winter storm we would have had last year. So it's very interesting to see this setup this early in the year. And then you can see that it heads as we as we move on one frame that it heads into Michigan again. Central Michigan really getting slapped the worst on this one, whereas Southern Michigan was getting hit the worst on the European. But according to this model. The central regions are going to be getting affected the worst as far as Wisconsin and Michigan are concerned. And then you can see we move this thing as we head into the 13th. This is kind of later in the day on August 13th, Tuesday. You can see a lot of upstate New York and New England is getting affected by this point. I mean, really, it's showers and, and moderate rain over the entire New England area. So, you, again, you can't really be too safe. All of these areas are going to be affected by this system. So it's really important to keep track of what's happening in the moment. And then we're going to move on one. And you can see this is where it really looks like a winter storm as it heads just off the coast of Maine. And it's just a, what is that? Uh, 1,001 millibar low pressure system right off the coast of Maine. I could see this bringing snow to, to northern and interior Maine. Uh, this looks just like a winter storm we would have had last year. A lot of people up there could tell you this looks just like it, but... It's not, this is just, uh, it's only August, but we do have a lot of precipitation going on here. And you can see the bullseye in this one is actually in kind of the New Hampshire and coastal Maine area as opposed to Long Island. So this is quite a click north further than what the GF or what the European model was showing, which is very, very interesting. Uh, usually you would see the GFS be further south than the European, but not this time. Uh, that's that's kind of like a classic stereotype is that the GFS keeps things further southeast than the European model. Uh, I, I don't know how much, I don't know how accurate that is anymore with the updated GFS, but that that's always what I remember it being uh, back like maybe seven or eight years ago. I remember that being kind of the general rule of thumb is that the GFS would keep things a little too far southeast and the European would be a little more spot on with the location of things. Now, here's your total precipitation according to the GFS. And you can see in those green colors, anywhere in the green, you're expecting 0 0.01 to 0 0.5 inches, so half an inch of rain. So if you're in those dark greens, you're still expecting a lot of precipitation. And again, thunderstorms can happen outside of these little isolated events that create a lot more rain than what this is calling for, obviously. If you're in that dark shade of blue, in the darker shades of blue, you're at 0 0.5 to, to 1.25 inches of rain so one and a quarter inches of rain so this is again already enough to create flooding in a lot of areas at least areas that are very susceptible to rain and then you can see as you get into the lighter shades of blue it's 1.5 to 2 inches of rain which a lot of areas are expecting in kansas nebraska iowa minnesota the dakotas wisconsin michigan into new england a lot of areas in new england are in those blue colors and a little bit of two inches there in that coastal Maine and coastal New Hampshire regions. As we head into the blues, though, or the, the pinks, we'll talk about the pinks and then the purples. So we're cutting this in half. The pinks is two inches to four inches of rain. And you can see a lot of areas in Nebraska, Kansas are expecting those conditions, Colorado, and then uh, kind of like a slice of Iowa into Wisconsin, and again, central Michigan, those central regions being the bullseye with this one. Those areas are expecting, again, two to four inches of rain, and then four to six inches of rain in those darker shades, and you can take, you can see that there is, you know, some darker shades there in Iowa, Wisconsin, Michigan, those areas. So it's really interesting to see that we are calling for these very high amounts of precipitation. So I hope you don't think that I'm overhyping this storm at all because this is a lot of rain that is possible with this one. Again, the GFS is calling for more precipitation and holding it further north. The European is calling for less precipitation and holding it further south. So we'll have to see which one of these two models wins out. I don't know if I'll make an updated video for this one. It just depends if it shows anything. If it shows something in between these two models, I won't make an update for this one. Just be prepared anywhere from, you know, where the GFS was showing or to where the European was showing. Either one could play out. So if you're in any of the areas that look to be impacted by this one from either of these models, be on the lookout because this could be a pretty serious situation with the amount of rainfall falling, especially what the GFS is showing for uh, Iowa, Wisconsin, and Michigan. This could create a lot of flooding. So just be really careful. Again, flash flooding. This system is moving very fast. It was moving, it was skirting across the entire United States and it still dropped this much precipitation. So it's really 
really going to be a lot of rain falling in a very short amount of time. So it's going to be important. Again, I know I keep saying this, but it's just so important that you guys pay attention to the updates and, and things that are happening in the moment just so you can be safe. These flash flood events, you know, you, you don't take them too seriously probably, but you should not be underestimating them because they are very dangerous. I've, you know, I have a family and they they always underestimate flash flood events. They're like, oh, it's just a flash flood event. Well, you do not want to be caught away from your house in an area susceptible to flooding because it could get really, really bad. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you guys stay safe during this event as it heads across the United States. Anyway, guys, have a great week.